We are back in Forza Horizon 4. I almost said 5 for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, we're in Forza Horizon 4 and this week we are in Autumn and are going to be unlocking the Ford Racing Puma. This is all this is, this is also the same car that we use in the Moorhead Wind Farm Circuit monthly rivals um, little festival playlist event thingy as well. I still haven't done an online adventure, I might do that someday. Oh my god, you stupid motherfucking what? Stop beeping every hour, it's so freaking annoying. Okay, back to what we were doing. Um, so yeah, we're just doing the Ford Racing Puma Championship Unlock Thingy Majig. It's this one, the Lake Horse Four Sprint, or it's called the Cool Cats. All you do, all you need, is an Max A Class Jaguar, and you have to come first three times, or at least first twice and second once. So you just have to get the highest points. It's a championship. You, you know what? You know what a championship is. If you're watching this, you probably played Forza for quite some time now. Maybe, I'm not sure. Just remember, keep your eyes on the road. You can admire the autumn views after you finish this okay. championship. Great. Uh, we got we got two circuits and one sprint. Let's hope there's some good tracks. I've brought this Jaguar. I believe it's an XK something. What is this thing? XKS. XKRS, okay. Let's see. Driving, driving. All we have to do is get the first. Oh, we're already in eighth. Things are looking good. And we're at the sixth from that one turn. Freaking noise. Is that a wide body Jaguar in front of us? The orange one? Man, I don't really know my Jags, honestly. Is that like an F type or something? I believe it's an F type, right? Why do I keep getting Fortsathon challenges completed? I'm, all I've done is one race. <laughs> okay, we're into third. And we just have two more places to go, and then we get the max 20 points from doing one race. And we need to do that three times. And then we'll have a Ford Racing Puma. Visually, that car just looks like any other traffic car. So technically, we've like unlocked a traffic car. But apparently, that car, you could specifically get it spec to like some sort of racing spec or something. Where it'd have like higher horsepower and stuff. I'm not sure. I don't remember what the car what the car was special for, but I know that every car we're getting this festival uh, playlist is ooh, on this dip, um is all gonna be related to ra um, rally. So yeah, we're only 50% of the way complete. Oh great. This is one of my favorite looking Jags as well. It looks quite nice. But I do like the F type. If it's called the F type. I could be saying the wrong model name for all I know. Yep, we're just driving along. At this point, it's just a casual Sunday drive. And I just shifted way too early, and so we're not getting any speed now. But who cares? I'm still in first, and they're not really catching up. Okay, we have done race number one out of three. And you always gotta finish all stylus. Gotta look cool. Okay, where is the next race? Okay, we got one here. And one here. Ooh, nice. I like how both these races affect the same road. Like, look at that. <laughs> okay, we'll do this one first, and then the next one, and then we should have an ugly looking Ford. I think that the Ford looks ugly, the one we're unlocking, the Puma. Within the 
first five seconds, I'm already into element, and now it is. Look at the acceleration in this car, it's amazing! Probably because I converted it to uh, all wheel drive. Oh dang it, I missed it, I missed it. I cut that corner a bit too much. There we go. Into sixth. Let's take him on the inside, and we got fifth nailed. Now we're gonna come to fourth. We're gonna get you. Oh, we're a little slow, we're not even gaining. We might have to uh, beat him on the corners, and he hit the brake so he lost speed. That's his fault for being a dumbass. And break in the middle early. And lightly hold down the throttle so you keep your speed. Uh, I have now caused damages to the, my opponent. I do not apologize. Game. Hit the brakes. Yes, he did it. He slowed down. Haha, <laughs> you're a fool. Oh, that was a risky cut. But we got through without needing to rewind. Look at us in first already. That was really quick. Seems like the unbeatable driver cars aren't giving us too much trouble this week. I and I am happy for that. Because some weeks they feel like they're a little cheaty. And suddenly they have like freaking rocket ship engines in their hoods. And around this corner, all oh, nice and clean. I slowed down too much honestly on that one. And it's not great. But you know what? Who cares? We're in first by quite a big margin. Maybe even a couple of seconds. And that's like years in racing. Two seconds. Light on the throttle. And then throttle full. Ooh. This car seems to understeer a lot. It is all wheel drive, so does that. I don't know why this was all wheel drive. I don't even remember tuning this. I just have it. Interesting. Is it not? Okay, uh, let's see. We got one more race to do, and it is over here, right next to the one we just did. They even use the same road. They're like siblings, these two racetracks. Okay, let's speed him on the launch. Yeah! Look at us. Oh, this guy's not a wide body anymore. Still orange though. We have done this, uh, this track so much that it's easy to know the best um, ways, the best racing line on this. Obviously, I tend to ignore the racing line when there's enough opponents around me because they'll get in get in your way, so you can't really follow the racing line properly. Which kind of sucks. But once you get into like the podium area, then you can follow it better with minor deviations from the opponents, or uh, obviously being there and just not breaking at the right time, so that also adds to deviation. Okay, we just have to 
get in front of Spent Satin 258. It seems to be always like the same driver cars that are in the podium areas, which is uh, kind of annoying. There's like no variety to um, which driver cars can be quick. It's always like the same group of people. It sucks. And I just ran over some chickens. The KFC now. But that'll be delicious. Sometimes I forget how good looking this game is. Like you always focus on the racing part. You don't never you never like pay attention to how well the lighting's done or the reflections. And they look so good. Like when we come back and play this game in like say 10 years, what would we try to do to improve it? We don't know because I bet the technology that we, we would put onto a 10 year old game doesn't exist. Like obviously someone could try and program ray tracing into this because ray tracing is quite new and it wasn't implemented in Horizon 4. That'd be cool. Um, I guess there's variable rate shading that could be added into this game. Like, what are the technologies we're gonna get for graphics in 10 years time? That would be cool. I'm kind of excited to actually find out. I don't even know why I'm talking about random stuff. Today. We have completed the championship. That means we got that Puma to drive. It doesn't really look like a Puma, does it? More like a strange cat. Maybe... Like a Cougar? <laughs> doesn't look like a Puma. Ooh, that car came out in 1999. Doesn't look like a car that came out in 1999. Like, if you look at it visually. some I'd expect something that looked like it came out in, like, 2008 or something. That's what it looks like. Okay. Let's scroll down. Here it is. Oh my god, I yawned. I am tired. Tired! Yes, tired. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, we can open the bonnet. <gasps> Does this mean we can change the engine bay color by doing that thing where we cover the entire thing in decals and then color the body? Yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. That's stupid. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. What are the customizations I have clicked on new tunes? I don't want that. Okay, we got conversions, we got 1.6 litre inline 4 turbo rally, a 2, two litre inline 4 turbo, pretty much the same thing. I mean, obviously it's different by what you can see, I assume the rally is just adding way more torque. Wait, what is green line? Yeah, green, the green line's torque. Yeah, okay, uh... We've got real drive and wheel drive. So this being a rally car, we're gonna make this all-wheel drive. Uh, we can put one turbo or a plasma displacement supercharger. I'm gonna put a single turbo on this thing. Let's see. Um, hmm. What do we got for customization? Yeah, let's put that on. We're going rally with this thing. It looks like they're just ricing the car up. <laughs> this thing looks. This thing's gonna look bad. It looks kind of rally, I guess. Uh, let's put some rally tires on. My nose is suddenly itchy and it's annoying the crap out of me. Should be. Should this be the time we finally use fifteen fifty two tires? Because I'm not the biggest fan of those because they look kind of boring. Uh, yeah. Are there other 1552s? 
Let's see. Oh, there are. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I'll put that on. It looks very rally y. Okay, just put on the good shit now. Remember when Forza had rally transmission? Oh man, those were the days. Let's put some rally suspension in. I'm gonna lower the um, suspension a bit because that just. that looks like a goofy level of high. <laughs> And we'll make it lighter. I bet this is going to be an A-class vehicle. Based on the customizations. Although... These upgrades are really moving the PI quite far along. Let's hope the flywheel... Oh no, okay. We'll drop this down a bit. There we go. We got a Max A class rally car. I will compare this to my other rally cars and see how well they do. Most of my rally cars are in S1900 though. What? Okay. Forza, you're doing this shit again. Okay, so when I was upgrading, it says A800, but at the top it says A799. I hate it when it does that. Okay, let's look at designs and pages because I want to put a rally paint job on. See if anyone's got any cool rally ones. Hmm. I'm not doing Castrol again. I already did that to Celica. And I'm not... There's always that one weeb that shows up. Some of these look okay, I guess. I don't know. I might not put one on. Honestly, I like it because I like this one because it looks kind of clean. Yeah, let's put this one on. Okay, let's take this on our rally course. Oh wait, I forgot to tune it. Damn it! Put the upgrades, but not the tune. Oh, I didn't notice the black outline. I don't think I like that. Okay, let's see. I don't want to go there. I've... There we go. So, gearing. Gearing actually looks really good. That's fine. Springs, I will put that to 20 centimeters. Lower it by like two centimeters. Ooh, let's up that. Uh, dampening looks fine. Differential. When you're doing all wheel drive, I always feel like putting the acceleration to 13% really gets rid of s most of the understeer you get. Obviously, you need to adapt to the changes, but other than that, it's fine. Okay. Y'all know any good rally courses? I think I did this one? No, it was this one I did the other week. Yeah, we'll do that race again. Well, why didn't I just fast travel there? See how well it um, handles. It'll probably be really cool. It sounds amazing. Oh, this is also a retro rally car. That's nice. <laughs> okay. Let's get past these guys. Oh, we go with Lancey in here. Hopefully they don't cheat. That was cheat with a bunch of apostrophe. I mean, quotations around it. Oh, we're doing really good. Uh, we're, the car doesn't have that much 
fourth though, so that might be bad. But up hills. Definitely not a car for hill climbing then. But we could get him on the speed once we get into a good straight area. Oh! I like how we just cleanly fit into that gap. That was nice. It was like doing that parallel parking thing with a Mini Cooper, but doing it while moving. That's cool. Oops, forgot the shift. Come on, catch up! Okay, I don't think we have him on the streets. Love that. Oh, oh, we can get him to downhill, maybe. Uh, let's see. And we got him around this corner. No, 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 no! Damn it! That was too much slide. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think that up. Rewind is super helpful for when you screw up. I want to do that jump, but it's stupid and I would lose my position. I want to do one more race. So this race is, hopefully if I remember it, this one's on Fortune Island, and it's one of my favorite- why can't I travel? <gasps> <gasps> Why is it installed? I, 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 I. I have purchased this already. What the shit, game? This uh. is Fortune Island. We are about to embark on a voyage to the most hostile terrain Horizon has ever seen. So the audio. This new site has it all: new so events, the music's not playing, right? harsh weather conditions, so and an opportunity to find fortune on in the Horizon the treasure hunt. Video doesn't work. You only Fame, hear Kira talking. fortune, and a and whole like new playground awkward. to explore. What are you waiting for? I have. I have to Yes, install it, please. <laughs> God damn it. It's not, I already own it, yes. No, don't pen, just install. Fuck. <laughs> How big is this? It's seven. Oh God, I won't be able to download this during this video. Damn it. God, fudge. Okay, so I can't go to that track. I can't even go to Lego Valley because I didn't reinstall that when my fucking computer had had a little problem with a fucking Windows update. Thank you, Microsoft, for not properly releasing a goddamn updates. Really annoying the crap out of me. Okay, well, let's go do another rally race then. Uh, y any fun ones? Ooh, uh, Reservoir Trail's pretty boring, Mud Kickers, meh, mm, yeah, it's a really meh, oh, this one looks alright, it's mostly 60% on the trail, the dirt trail, well, let's do that one. Boop, Retro Rally, Racing Puma. I just noticed it looks like there's like a bulge on the bottom of the bumper. Looks funny. Time for waste. Oh, little love tap. Okay. 
we have like no tool. <laughs> that turbo helps, but not enough. I believe an engine swap would be good. Or instead of the upgrade I put on it, just upgrade the turbo instead. Because that would definitely add more power to it. We get that acceleration we really need. Ooh, bridge! I like when there's bridges in the race. It looks, it feels cool. Like, you have to suddenly straighten up your car and go through it smoothly. It's like really cool. I like bridges in uh, racing games. Like this. Like, there's a bridge up on the other area. Um, the one with the pillars everywhere. That's a longer bridge, but it's also cool when you like drift around the corner and then slide into the bridge. It's like satisfying racing moments. Oh, I didn't break early enough. Dang it. I got a drift tap though. And also the cre clean racing for some reason. <laughs> says it on the side. I wonder if that's like a default alphabet or was it like a manufacturer sticker? Nah. Eh, yeah, okay, what, yeah, whatever. I'll like it. It's fine. I guess. Okay, I'm gonna end the video off here. Um, if you like watching this stuff and want to see more of it definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue watching it i usually do this every week um i'm not sure about next week's episode because sejo the third remastered releases on the friday well saturday maybe for australians like us not completely sure i should check on epic game store again to see when it officially releases they might tell us the time of like when you can start playing but I might do Saints Row instead of these videos, I might release the unlock videos at a later date, but I do these every week, so subscribe if you want to continue seeing more. If you didn't like this, press the dislike button and maybe comment below why you didn't like it so I can improve and deliver a better experience. Um, I will see you guys in my next video, bye bye! We are, we are the stars